before it gets super busy with my job, I do want to get a couple personal things done, like going to the dentist and getting some piercings done with Riley. Hi. Good morning. How are you? Because of the brain tumor and the chemotherapy I underwent, I have a lot of residual issues. Not only am I short at three foot 10, but I also have constant migraines and only six adult teeth. With the chemotherapy and affecting my teeth, it took away most of my baby roots and then dissolved all the adult teeth up here and that hide in your mouth when you're a baby. Donna? Hi. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. My baby teeth, they're very brittle and I went to a dentist before this one for an opinion and he suggested that all of my baby teeth would need either extreme work done or to be pulled eventually and then replaced with implants. So going to this dentist is the determining factor of if I get all my teeth removed. You have a seat right there. Thank you. Those are all adult teeth. Yes, they are. Those are my only adult teeth. Hello. Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? Nice to meet you. I'm Patty. Hey, Shauna, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Nice Hi. to meet you. The situation Shauna's in, I haven't seen, but the compounding factor she has where a smaller mouth, smaller jaw, medical issues in the past which have stunted some of the teeth that would be there is pretty unique. You'll see something different that you don't expect. When you look on the medical form, you see 22 year old, but then learning the medical history and going from there, obviously it all makes sense. Anything bothering um, you? So I would say the top um, upper left area. That's the one I was looking at at the x-ray that looked yeah. a little troublesome. Based on Shona's medical history, like with the chemotherapy, when it stunted everything else, it also stunted the development of the, the growth of the teeth. So normally in a, in a healthy adult with normal healthy teeth, the next tooth coming down will kind of trigger the tooth to start losing its baby roots and come out and that tooth comes down. So the problem she had is some of those teeth never came. So off the left side is the one that's bothering you. Mm -hmm. All I'm gonna do is just do a little tapping there. Mm -hmm. You let me know. No problem there. That one, it tends to like feel like it's moving. A little, a little wiggly, yeah. My teeth affect me physically because I constantly have infections or I have to get a root canal or a filling's broke. I can eat, eat food and have to worry about my teeth falling out. I ate a piece of pizza once and my tooth was just on it. Like, I didn't even bite the pizza and my tooth fell out. So it's extremely daunting that I feel like I'm just gonna lose all my teeth. It does play a bit onto my confidence Mostly because as a child, I was made fun of because I have gaps. I'm gonna do a few other little quick tests, okay? okay. I'm gonna put something a little cold on the right side, then I'm gonna try it on the left side. Okay. So like a little ice cube. And if you feel it, you just raise your hand. Felt that? Mm hmm So that's a good thing. So normally in a healthy tooth, you feel the cold, means the nerve's alive and functioning, that's what we want. So now we're gonna check that one on the upper left, the okay. one that's the problem. Nothing there, right? Mm -hmm. So that lets us know right, that already there's a problem on that tooth there. I want to take a little mini CT scan and we can look at the tooth in 3D together and kind of see what's going on and what's causing the problem. I was told very recently that except for the teeth that are adult teeth, the rest would potentially have to get taken out. And it is all dependent on this left tooth because I have another tooth leaning on my back molar. So if I have to pull this top molar, then all my teeth shift. And if my teeth shift, those very fragile roots could break. And if they break, then I can't have those teeth anymore and they all gotta be pulled. Okay, Shauna, so we're gonna go over the CAT scan. So basically it just gives me a 3D imaging of the tooth. The tooth that's the problem is your six year molar. So this tooth comes in around six years old. Mm -hmm. This tooth is, is a baby tooth. Mm -hmm. So what happens over time is the roots go and that's why these two teeth are getting a little wiggly. Yeah. But this tooth here actually does have a, a dental abscess. So there's an infection there, and mm -hmm. that's why you're having discomfort there. Yeah. But, okay, I think we can fix that. This is an important tooth, and we want to try to save it for sure. So, I mean, when we're looking at Shauna's teeth, the most important thing and why she's having pain is she has a dental abscess, which is a fancy word for infection, which most people know. So once we can clear that infection with the root canal, she'll have some relief and have less issues or problems. And then everything else looked okay. I just might want to take one more look in your mouth um, and then we'll be all set, okay? Sounds all right. Good. It is a huge relief knowing that it's only like really one tooth that's causing my main problems. The next steps for this tooth are to get a root canal and hopefully it functions fine after that. And if it doesn't, then we take different steps. If it does, then we talk about filling in my gaps with implants and stuff. 
Everything else is looking pretty good, just that one tooth. But it's got some strikes against mm -hmm. it, but I think we can still save it. As long as it's safe. Yeah, I think it is. I think it is, yeah. All right. Okay, sounds good. Thank sure. you. All right, no problem. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Today we're going to go to get some piercings. So what I'm getting is my cartilage here. Uh-huh. And then I'm going to get this piece right here, which is the date. But that's supposed to help with migraines. But that's a myth. If it's a myth, we'll find out. It's still going to look yeah. cool. <laughs> I heard a date piercing can help with migraines. From my knowledge, the date piercing is on like a nerve line and is an area that's used in acupuncture to release pressure within the head. So a lot of people that get the piercing say that it does help with migraines and I like the piercing either way, so may as well see if it works. Having tattoo and piercings is not a clear indicator that I'm an adult to strangers, but for me, tattoos and piercings isn't about being an adult or looking adultish at all. It's who I am, it's what I've wanted since I was young, and if I was taller, I'd have a lot more space. So I would, I would probably have more tattoos. All right, so now to your piercings, my dear. You mentioned you wanted to get quite a lot. I'll be in this chair for a bit. I'm getting my second lobes pierced, so that's two piercings. Um, my conch on my right side, my dath on my left side, and my helix, or my cartilage, on my left side. Which I don't recommend getting both ears pierced because you can't sleep on either side. Yeah, I don't recommend it, but I'm not normal. Riley, do you think Mom's gonna be shocked with all of this? Uh, with you, no. Yeah, she doesn't know about all of them. Oh no, am I gonna get in trouble? No, no. I'm an adult. Okay, are you ready, my dear? Yes. Why don't you take a nice deep breath in and out. All right, number three, my dear. That's nothing. Oh, that, yeah, yeah that one was nothing. nothing. Lobes are easy peasies. All right, so this side is done. Okay. Yeah. What do you call that, bravery? Or just no fear? Tell her she can't do it. She's like, I'll get both ears done and I'll sleep fine. Watch me. Maybe that's why I survived. Maybe the dog just was like, she can't survive. And I was like, I'll show you. <laughs> All right, my dear last one. Deep breath in and out. All done, all pierced up. Are you ready? Yes. Oh, I think it looks cool. I am getting blinked out on my ears, but I think this one's close to done, if anything. Like, it may, might want one more, but that's... You always wanted a lot of ear piercings. I think they're cool. She's doing what she wanted, that's for sure.